Around a decade after the end of Prohibition, the New York State government passed the ABC laws, which put in place restrictions for local brewers, like how much their product they can make and how much they can sell. Well, that was over 80 years ago. Now, those laws are constantly being amended by the Senate to allow for economic growth for New York breweries. NCC News reporter Aubrey Tolliver is live in the newsroom with the latest. The Senate has passed a bill allowing for local brewers to now be able to give out samples of their beer. A few years ago, they weren't even allowed to sell a glass across a table. Now, despite the wet conditions today, I made my way out to a local farm brewer who has taken full advantage of it. We'll probably end up with about 500 pounds of hops, which is more than we can use in our little brewery. In 2012, Saul Kleinberg and his wife were on vacation in India when they heard the news. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that farm breweries would be allowed to operate in the state of New York. We, we had decided that if this law passed, we would, we would come up here and try to get this property and, and do something like this. And lo and behold, it did and we did. Four years later, the Griffin Hill Farm Brewery sold its first glass. And actually seeing people who weren't our friends and family drinking that beer and enjoying it and coming back and buying more. I mean, there's no better feeling. That's why we're here. What the governor realized is they need a start. Paul Blackley is an economics professor. He says there are serious economic advantages for a thriving craft brewing industry. But you're seeing sort of revitalization of the, those kinds of agricultural activities, which will then also help the folks who sell equipment to those farmers. So you can see it's like a domino effect right through the economy. I think it was reasonable for the governor to say, we can deregulate this a little bit without really running into any of the usual kind of problems. I don't think any brewer would say that he's done anything but, uh, but good for the brewing industry, especially for craft breweries and small startups in New York State. And with those freedoms, small brewers like Kleinberg plan to take full advantage. We're going to build a, a purpose-built brewery. And, uh, and that's it. I think that would be, um, that's, that's, that's our aspiration. In 2003, there were only 30 breweries in the state of New York. Now, there are that many in central New York alone, 300 statewide. Reporting live from the newsroom, Aubrey Tolliver, NCC News.